Hey guys, uh, tonight we're going to go through this uh, chest rig that was loaned to me by a viewer. It is the Direct Action Gear uh, Tempest chest rig. I believe Direct Action Gear is out of Poland, uh, but I could be crazy wrong on that. Uh, they've got a lot of fascinating designs, and they do have a U.S. presence, uh, so you don't have to necessarily ship from Poland. Uh, but their designs are, are definitely uh, unique and European in nature, for, for the best term possible. Uh, so, according to the website, this is a 8 uh, M4 mag chest rig, or 4 SR mag, or 4 AK mag. Uh, when they say SR, I'm assuming that they mean uh, SR25 pattern magazines. I could not make that work, but I absolutely could make uh, 8 M4 mags work, which is crazy uh, the way that it does that. So, uh, let's get this thing on the table and take a look at it, because it is certainly a wild design. Uh, and I think I'm a fan uh, with, with some caveats, uh, because with this added capacity and flexibility uh, comes some kind of unruly mag pouches. But if reinsertion is not uh, a concern of yours, then you may really dig this thing. So let's get on the table and take a look at it. All right, so like I said in the intro, this is the Direct Action Gear Tempest chest rig. Uh, Direct Action Gear is a European com company which I do believe is out of Poland. Uh, I've, I've shown some of their other stuff before, their uh, Spitfire plate carrier, uh, and I'm gonna do the Bearcat soon, uh, but they got a lot of interesting designs and I'm a fan. Uh, if I had close proximity to them, I would absolutely go check out their, their storefront because some of their stuff is just wild and their website does not do it nearly enough justice. All right, um, okay, so before we get too far into this, they said that it would fit eight M4 mags. That is not at all readily apparent, as you can see from this half of the chest rig. That very much looks like a single column uh, or single inch inch deep uh, magazine pouch there. With uh, very, it, it looks very much like a dual M4 pouch. Uh, to the point that I put two M4 mags in there before I checked the website, and I I was under the assumption that was all that would fit. But the elastic led me to believe, the shot cord led me to believe that there was something else going on. Uh, I did try a PMAG, uh, SR25 mag in here. It didn't like it. I couldn't get it to work, and I, I kind of gave up. I didn't want to fight it too hard. All right, so if, if 762 or 308 is your jam, I don't necessarily know if I would recommend this, even though they say it'll fit. Uh, I don't have any reason to believe that... Uh, AK-47 mags are going to fight you, though, uh, because it was real close with uh, the SR-25 mag. All right, uh, so I will I will take these magazines out of here, uh, but I did want to show you it will fit four per side without too much drama, even with uh, base plates on there. All right. uh, removing magazines, as you can see, is not too much of a challenge, but I would not be in a hurry to reinsert because you got shot cord all over the place. If you were just running uh, four mags on here though, it's really not, not gonna fight you too much. The, uh, the pull tabs work out just fine. They don't get in the way too much. All right, so if that's, if that's what you need, maybe you've got, uh, maybe start out with eight mags and you're only worried about refilling four of them. I could see that working out just fine. All right, <clears throat> so there are a lot of uh, finishing touches on this chest rig that are, are actually pretty impressive to me. Uh, not that I doubted Direct Action Gear would do those things. I just haven't necessarily seen a lot of companies go this far with them. All right, so uh, one such finishing touch is uh, these sewn pockets around their side release buckles. Uh, so you can see, I'll bring the, the back strap around here. Uh, it still works out just fine. Uh, and it releases without too much issue. Might be a little difficult finding the sweet spot there with gloves on, but, but it works. Uh, and it, it kind of serves as a, a silencer for your buckles there. Uh, they do have a little elastic piece in the back strap, which I appreciate. I think that's a, an added comfort without uh, risking too much movement. All right, so looking at the front of this thing, it is uh, completely covered in molly. So even if you went four mags and a radio or IFAC or two radios or IFAC and water bottle, depending on what you want to do, uh, you still have 
molly on the front of the magazine pockets. So uh, if you have followed the conversation on the uh, Onward Research Recce Rig, uh, a popular complaint is that two columns of molly on the sides is not enough to do anything of value. I would disagree uh, pretty heavily that that's not enough of a footprint. But if you're in that camp, maybe this is uh, up your alley because you've got much more molly at your disposal. All right. Uh, there is a uh, horizontal uh, webbing on the bottom of these mag pouches. I don't know that I would be in a hurry to use that um, unless I was only putting four mags in here. It doesn't move really uh, when you put the, the eight mags in there. I just don't know. I feel like that's going to be really busy uh, and you may run into issues. But if you wanted to, to tie a, a tourniquet down there, or have a smoke grenade or flashbang or something hanging off of there uh, in a molly pocket, I think you would be okay. I don't know. I just, I'm never in a huge rush to use that real estate on, on anything with uh, molly on the bottom, right? It is a, a split front with a snap up top for added security. A very stout snap. Uh, so we'll zip that open. And there you go. There's your your split front feature. Uh, as I was exploring their website, uh, there's a video on the page for this product, which I watched thinking it would explain how to make the magazine pockets work better. And uh, turns out I was led astray. The video is actually for something called their sniper panel, which is like a skid plate that fits in between here. Uh, so you can zip that in, and then I think it has its own side release buckles so you can move these inward. And, and still have uh, an appropriate fitting chest rig if you want a, a bare section in the middle without necessarily splitting it and leaving it flopping all over the place. All right, uh, so we talked about the magazine pouches. They will fit AK mags and M4 mags just fine. Again, I couldn't fit SR25 mags. Maybe they need to be a steel body. Maybe SR was referring to something else. I don't know. All right, uh, looking internal on these, they both have a tweave type pocket here uh, with a little pull tab to get that open. So not uh, crazy accessible while you're wearing this thing, but uh, it's there, all right? And if you had, you know, flat, flat stuff in there like maps and whatnot, uh, you could probably get in there, all right? Or you could put some, some, hook, some loop here and kind of cancel that out uh, for the most part if you just wanted a little place to secure it or if you just wanted to keep it kind of open for easy access. Uh, as I was exploring this thing, I looked in here and I saw, I don't know how well this is gonna show up, this little tab down here. Uh, and before I looked at anything else, I, I unfastened this tab and I realized that it will just keep pulling. Uh, and I thought, oh, that's cool. Maybe it's like a long strap or something to use this for a radio pocket or put a side plate in here for some goofy reason or um, a radio, I don't know or even secure it somehow. And then I realized it wasn't long enough to do that. Uh, so I started looking around to figure out where the, the slack was coming from. And what happens is that feeds into the magazine pocket. I don't know if you can see it down there or not, uh, but it, it adjusts the ride height of the magazine pocket. So if you're using like shorty 20 round uh, AK mags, it'll it'll bring that up so you get a little bit more purchase on the magazine. Uh, that might come into play with the steel body SR mags. I don't know, all right? But you can adjust the ride height on here. If you had 20 round uh, M4 mags, that would also work. Uh, it's an interesting feature. I don't know that I'm a huge fan of it uh, because it, it just creates more stuff going on in here. You can see how this is bellowed here uh, kind of internally. So if you have one, m4 mag it just kind of rests on top of that bellow uh, and then if you have two it, it will expand um, but there's just a lot going on in these mag pockets which i'm not a huge fan of uh, but it's for necessary reasons right uh, but you can see the way it's bellowed like that uh, it is not a a open bottom uh, mag pocket so dudes that love to complain about uh, builders getting lazy these days and having open bottoms on their magazine pockets. Direct action gear does not do that. All right, and then you can kind of see the, the shock cord woven through the sides here so that as that bellows out, it'll, it'll take up the slack for you. What's interesting though is 
uh, it is it is kind of at its max right now. So if we if we torqued this down, I think all it would do is limit us to the four mags. Um, it's I guess it's kind of needed. It'll keep those two mags tight once you remove the outer two. Um, but I also feel like they could have just kind of left that fixed and, and it's fine where it is. I don't know. It, I guess at some level it's user replaceable, but that would be an absolute nightmare to try to figure out where that's woven and, and chase it through all of those holes. So while you could do it, I highly recommend not uh, trying to service your own shot cord there. And then this, this divider in the middle here, and I think this is why I was having such a hard time with the SR25 mags, is uh, it just kind of floats. So as you put one in, like it pushes over to the other side, and then somehow you need to take the slack out with the bellow, and I just wasn't about it, all right? Direct action gear, I like what you tried to do. Uh, I would not use this for 308 mags. All right, <clears throat> so we kind of already talked about the tweeve. Uh, then you've got this little elastic portion here. Uh, I learned on the Spitfire video that direct action gear has a lot of pieces that play with each other and, and cooperate that I'm not totally aware of. Uh, so for right now, I'm going to say that this elastic is a retainer for the side release buckle. Should you not need the harness uh, in its typical fashion, right? Because I think this can marry in with plate carriers. Maybe with the sniper panel, uh, you just need the back strap. I'm not totally sure when you would want to do that, uh, but direct action gear thought there was a reason, so they gave you the ability. All right, it's it's hard to complain about that without knowing for sure uh, why they why they have that. I also don't think that would be wildly uncomfortable, depending on where this falls along your body. Like you might get a hot spot, uh, but you're just gonna have to figure that out for your own person. All right, there you go. Tempest chest rig uh, with the direct action gear tag there. So you know what it is uh, because of the way it looks. All right, uh, so that's the main body. Let's look at the, the harness here because it's a very interesting harness. I am fascinated by lasers uh, to include laser cut harnesses and I'm, I'm having a hard time getting this on here. It's a little unruly. All right, so they have uh, provided laser cut mounting options all the way up the harness. Huge fan of that. These uh, routing tabs here are overdone in my opinion uh, because they're not quite one wrap. This is just raw Velcro sewn in there and then this is Velcro with a, a webbing backer, which is unnecessary in my opinion. I think they could have saved some time and given you one wrap and that would have potentially allowed them to give you a little bit more slack there if you wanted it because uh, that's gonna get kind of tight. They have another tab up top here. So you've got cable management leading up into your shoulder straps, which is quite nice. Big fan of that. Uh, they have a, a little chunk of molly or pals webbing on the back here, as well as a drag handle. Uh, the drag handle should work all right, because that is one piece with, with the rest of this. Uh, so ripping that would be a little bit of a challenge compared to old school plate carrier drag handles. Uh, a little bit of Velcro here which may or may not integrate with things or just be a little bit more comfy because it's that goofy, soft loop there. Uh, and then something I think is, is interesting, and I don't know that I've seen this done quite like this before, is the way you take up the slack on the shoulder strap is it's just doubled over on itself. Uh, so you kind of have infinite adjustability here. And you could go down beyond marrying that up directly, but... What you have now is you still have uh, routing options all the way up to that buckle, which I think is a cool way of doing that. Uh, and then your, your hook is uh, hidden there. Um, so equally comfortable, whether it's you know paid all the way out or you have it as tight as it'll go. I think that is a neat way of doing that. I'm sure somebody else has done it before. I just don't remember off the top of my head who uh, so, uh, I can't put this caveat in every video, right? But a lot of things pass through my hands and I, I tend to forget specific features on specific things. So if you've done that before and you feel like direct action gear has wronged you and copied you, I apologize. Uh, I don't remember who did that. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. No elastic 
in the uh, the top portion of the shoulder of the harness, just the, the back strap here. Uh, but you do have some webbing keepers, which is a nice touch on all the straps. And that's that's your direct action gear chest rig. It is uh, $219, I believe, on their website. So it's up there for uh, priciness on chest rigs. But there's a lot of stuff going on here, and I think they put a lot of nice finishing touches on it and give you a lot of options. So check it out. Check out the rest of their stuff. They got some cool stuff. Uh, they've never reached out to me to provide any products or anything like that, so this is totally unbiased. I'm just a huge fan of their uh, creativity and trying new designs. Thanks, guys.